Jupyter Lab is the web-based environment where we develop our code. To start it from Anaconda, we simply click on Launch in the Jupyter Lab box. The browser starts and the first thing we see is that the URL is local. This means that yes, we are in the browser, but we don't need the internet to use Jupyter Lab. It works both when we are online and offline. Then on the left, there is a panel with four tabs. The first tab is a pretty standard file browser. We see the content of the current directory, which we can navigate by clicking on the path on the top to go backwards or on the folders to go forward. We can start a new launcher, which we are going to see very soon. We can create a new folder, which we can open, rename, delete, etc. We can import files from another folder and we can refresh the file list whenever we need it. In the next tab, we see the active terminal and kernel sessions, which right now are none. Then we have a big search tab and finally, a list of open tabs. When clicking on one of these tab icons, we toggle out, and when we re-click, we toggle back in. On the right side, we have a big launcher. As you can see, we can open notebooks, consoles, terminals, text files, and others. What is convenient here is that we can position the different tools in such a way that it is convenient for us to work. For example, for my next project, I need a Jupyter Notebook, then I need a terminal, so I click on the plus here and start the terminal. And finally, I need a markdown file, so I click on the plus again and start the markdown file. I can alternate the files I see, but I can also position them in such a way that I have everything under control all at once. Finally, there's the top bar. Some of the items are grayed out because they are reserved for Jupyter Notebook, as we will see in the next video. One thing that is nice, for example, is that if you're into the black theme, you can switch to that. To do so, go to Settings, Jupyter Lab Theme, and Jupyter Dark, and here we go. So, that's pretty much it for the first big Russian doll. Now, let's go to the second one, Jupyter Notebook.